Okay, so sorry about that. That was an edit. My camera went off. Uh, this is part two. So as I was saying, it has stopped raining. So after we get done with this and meet back up with G, then I'll take you up to the top part and let you see out over into the bay and the ocean. And all these rooms are basically the same. Basically the same. And you got all these... Uh, this is, if anybody knows what this stuff is, it has to do, I guess, with the, the sea salt. I can't remember what it's called. It's stagnites or something. I don't know if that's what it's called. Um, but these, they're on the ground right here. They're on the ground, so, um, I mean, you can see them at the top up there. I'm just not sure what the name of them is. All right, moving along. And y'all can come out here uh, during the night. Um, the lady said that um, you can do a nighttime investigation. Um, you needed liability insurance, uh, proof of liability insurance, and you can investigate from five o'clock until 12 o'clock and it costs you 500 bucks. So we figured this is a historical location and if it's haunted at night, then it is haunted during the day. The only thing that we have to deal with is um, the people visiting here as well. So this is another room. Uh, there was actually two cannons in here. So there's one right there and there's one right here and there's a window right there and a window right there. Um, it looks like they may have had a fireplace here maybe. Um, oh yeah, there's a, hang on, let me see. Oh yeah, okay. So this is, used to be a fireplace to uh, help keep the soldiers warm during the winter time. I don't know what this is. Um, it stops right there. So this is telling me, they put a brick wall up there, but this is telling me that that was a tunnel. It probably just kept going into the other parts of the barracks. So, but I don't know why they would put these, put this wall up for, I don't know. But you have some more of the stagnite stuff there. This is, it's really cool. I don't know what that is though. But yeah, guys, this is history, man. This is awesome. I love history. I love learning about what used to be. And there's a great, nice little breeze coming through this window. So, um, I hope it doesn't drown out my voice, but you got some, um, some weeds growing out there. All right, let's move on guys. And all the floors are made out of brick. Like I said, um, the first video, the first part of the, the series, um, I told you about how this was built. And we have another room over there. So we're going to go over there and see. See, it's just room after room after room after room. And it, they're the same, same style. But this one, it looks like, um, this does not have a cannon thing on here. And neither does that one. And neither does the other one. Um, I don't see no sign of it, but that one's got two of them. That room that we were just in has two of them. I don't know the reason for it. But moving on. All right, so. Oh, here we go. Here's another enclosed part. 
see and that goes the stairs it goes up and and I believe it walks all the way around so we'll do that as well in another video Let's see. <laughs> danger do not enter let's see what's in here let me turn on my light so y'all can see um, Okay, it looks like it's just another room. Do you see anything in there? Looks like a looks like it's coming down a little bit. There's a lot of bricks in there. Mm, Probably falling why. from the ceiling. That's why they have a lock up. Lock yeah. Up. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this room was used for. Probably another room for the soldiers to come in here. Yeah. And chillax and relax and well, not have to is, worry about I, it. I, I think there's a bed room. Yeah. Bedroom, maybe. It could have been, yeah. Because they could have been safe in here. Yeah. It's probably. Thank you for sharing her life with us. Thank you for sharing your life. You're welcome. You have big stuff this week. All right, guys. And let me just say there's a lot of trash in there, too. If you guys are going to go and explore these haunted and abandoned locations, please don't destroy anything and write on the walls and stuff like that. I mean, that just really pisses me off when I see an abandoned structure and um, it's got some kind of historical uh, significance to it, or even if it doesn't have any historical significance to it, don't be messing it up. Don't damage it. Just go in there, videotape, take pictures, you know, document whatever you're documenting, and please don't destroy nothing. I see so many things destroyed because of people's ignorance and stupidity. And yes, I'm calling you ignorant and stupidity. All right, we're going through another, I feel another breeze. So I hope that's not interfering with the video. And this wall is kind of different. I don't know if they had something setting up there or not. But look how short these, these openings are. So I'm wondering if there was any tall, actual tall people back in. So another one. Um, it doesn't look like there was a a cannon thing here. So I don't think we was in this room. This is another room. Um, this has got the cannon, two cannons, um, and another fireplace. You can see, look at that. Look at that up there at the top. That is actual residue from the fires that they had in here. This is so cool. Oh, I want to actually touch this. I want to touch this and I don't feel anything. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium. I just want to feel it and feel the history. That soldiers were at war at one point in time here. They lived a scary life. So here's the other side of that tunnel. It's kind of, it kind of makes me wonder now what's between those walls. I don't know, not unless it was, my theory would be it was a room that were, was either destroyed or it's caving in or something and they bricked it up and so nobody could get hurt. I don't know. All right, moving on. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Like I said, you, this is, you know, you see is what you get. And I hope that the spirit that I asked to come along with me and tell me his story is actually walking with me. 
and telling his story. And yeah, check this out, guys. I don't know. This was the smoking section. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what this was or why they made it like this. But there is. You can see right there. There's some cactuses growing up there. That's funny. Just in that one spot, there's cactuses. So this is another entrance to go back in there. There's a water spot. See, they even had gutters back then. Ain't that something? Somebody thought of that. All right, so let's go back through here. If you guys ever get the chance to come down to Gulf Shores, Alabama, um, I think that that's uh, I think that fell. I don't believe that that uh, could have been a wall. Or it could have been an opening, just by the way the the arch is. So it could have been. Um, if you're ever down this way, please, if, if you like the historical part, or if you like his, history in general, um, come down here and check this place out. And if you're a paranormal investigator or an explorer, come down here and check this out. It's really, really cool to be able to come into something um, that was here a long time ago. And we're moving on. And see, some of these, some of these don't have the uh, cannon, cannon spots, so this could have been um, just a hangout place or, you know, they, they did something in here. There's a reason why it's here and the reason why it was built this way. But there's some, we're gonna go through those two as well. So we're gonna keep going. All right, there's people here with me guys. And we're gonna go into this room. This is another empty room, enclosed room. So, and there used to be a door here on this, as you could tell. But yeah, this is uh, this is really cool. So I'm gonna get the K2 back out and walk around and see if I can get anything. Is there any spirits in here with me? Oh, look at that. They put it right on top of sand, and I guess that's how they do it back then. That's somebody in the background screaming. Is there any spirits in here with me? If you can, can you walk up to this device I have in my hand? You're good. You're good. Sorry. <laughs> so there used to be... There used to be a door there, too, it looks like. Because you got your archway. I don't know the reason for it being bricked up, but that's okay. Is there any spirits in this room with me? Please walk up to this device I have in my hand and let me know that your presence is with me. And like I said, um, the paranormal is like gambling. Sometimes you get something and sometimes you don't. But it's just the fact of trying to communicate with spirits. Sometimes they don't want to communicate with you. Sometimes they do. And I truly believe that um, the spirits walk this earth whenever they die. And some choose to not be acknowledged. And some do. And that's my theory on it. <clears throat> All right, nobody wants to talk or come forward? All right, we're
We're going to move on, guys. As I'm saying it, just like I said, it goes on and on and on. And every bit of this fort is made out of bricks and whatever this is, uh, limestone, rocks, or something. <clears throat> All right, so that part right there is closed off, and I'm sure that they have some of these closed off um, because they have stuff inside of them, and they want to keep stuff. Um, I see some tables and stuff in there, but you can't really, the camera's not going to pick it up, but they it's locked, so we're not going to go in. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anybody in there. Alright, so there's another set of steps going that way, another set of steps going up that way. And it's starting to rain a little bit, guys, so I'm going to go back in here. And this continues on as you guys can see it goes on and on and on and on it's like it kind of reminds me of a mirrored effect so you got another thing right here where the cannons were at and this just made it more easier for them to to move it back and forth so whenever the cannons was here then the barrel could go this way and then they can move it and the barrel would go that way and it would shoot up over the hill right there out into the bay and there's another another fireplace and it really does look like um, the same thing over and over again but it, it really is but each I'm sure each um, each room had the same um, the same motive I guess you would call it um, but that was their only way of protecting themselves and see each each one of them's got these uh, cannon spots where the cannon set and I, I think I truly believe I think these were bigger cannons because you got this the back part here and then you got the front part here. So these were much more powerful cannons that probably um, shot off the really big concrete balls that we've seen back earlier. So that's what probably housed the bigger cannon balls. Come on, is there any spirits that's walking with me to to tell me your story, to tell me what happened here. That is so neat. And it's formed, I guess it's like salt formed or something from the ocean. Is there any spirits that's walking with me and telling me your story? I think I'm alone now. I don't think there's anybody back here this far. If there's any spirits walking with me, come up to this device I have in my hand. Get close to it so I know that you're here with me. Another big fireplace. Alright, since I'm back here by myself, I'm going to get my necrophonics back out. Another fireplace. Alright, I'm going to set y'all right here. And there's a spider there.
All right, if there's any spirits in this part of the fort, I'm walking around, I'm trying to tell your story, <coughs> but I need your help. <coughs> I need your help, can you please help me tell your story? If there's anybody here, what is your name? My name is Shay, what is your name? I am your friend, not your enemy. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for acknowledging me. Can you tell me your story here? Did you fight every day of your life here? Were you able to take any kind of days off to rest? Can you tell me in one word? Um, how do I want to ask this question? Can you tell me in one word what it was like here? That sounded like I said angry. Did you say angry? Yes. I'm sorry that you felt angry all the time. I, I, I understand it was rough for you. Are you going to walk around with me and tell me your story? I welcome you to do that, please. Were you able to rest at night or did you have to stay on guard 24 7? There's some whispers. So I'm going to have to go through this. And my battery is about to die, y'all, so it's going to go off in just a minute. Are you going to continue to walk with me as I walk through the fort? Yep. <laughs> I love it. Well, I just want you to know that I appreciate your cooperation. And I just want to get your story out there. So everybody can know just how hard you fought to stay alive. Yes. There's a breeze here, so I hope it's not overpowering my voice. Did you, was you able to stay warm in here with that fireplace? Did you get the wood to burn in the fireplace from the land around here? Can you tell me why these um, these tunnels right here were closed off. Can you tell me in one word why they're closed off? He said something, but I couldn't understand what he said. Did you do that? Or did somebody else do it? Did you do that back then? Or was it recently done? You just talk to me as much as you want to. I will piece the words together. I want you to tell your story.
Were there young, young men here, like children, fighting? Or did you keep them out of here? Did you keep the younger children at home with their moms? Yeah. Yep. Yes. So, how old was the youngest boy out here that was fighting? Can you tell me how young, the youngest boy? She said 18. I just heard 18. Did you say 18? Please confirm with me, yes or no. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for cooperating with me. I'm going to move on, and I would appreciate if you walked along with me. All right. Well, come along with me. All right, guys. I'm going to have to change out my battery. It is, it is blinking, and I think this is it's about up anyway. So I'm going to change out my battery, and we're going to go to part three.